we are momentum creatures. So as entrepreneurs, when we're in a rut or when we're going through a hard time, one little tiny speck of momentum can sometimes pull us out of a period of procrastination and feeling stuck and feeling like things are never going to work out. So I have a process that I go through myself and that I put through a lot of our clients and customers. Across the board, I get messages from people who say that this was really helpful for them if they were feeling stuck or unmotivated or that they were procrastinating. And I call this exercise success stacking. What you're gonna need to do this is something to write on. And this works best if you are writing it rather than typing it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of paper and we're going to divide it simply into three columns. On the far left column, we're going to write the past 12 months. And in the middle column, we're going to write past 90 days. And then in the final column, the third column, we will write next 90 days. And what we're gonna do in this exercise is we are going to borrow from the past to see where there is momentum, where there is progress, and then we're gonna bring that into the future. And I have had people reach out to me privately, sent me text messages or emails saying, I was in a really tough spot when we did that exercise. I didn't want to do that exercise. You forced me to finish it and I'm really glad you did. This entire process only takes about five, maybe 10 minutes. And I can promise you that you will want to quit at about minute one and a half. <laughs> you may not believe me right now, but we're gonna hit a resistance point after about 90 seconds of this exercise, and you're going to want to quit. I'm gonna tell you that upfront so that when you hit the resistance point, when you hit the period of you wanting to quit, just know that I warned you. Everyone goes through this process, and I will tell you that if you go through that little resistance point where you want to quit, if you get past it, that's where all the good stuff is. We're going to start this exercise in the middle column. And in the middle column, we are going to write down at least 10 things that we can think of that were progress from the last 90 days. Now, you're going to say in your mind, there's been no progress and there's certainly not 10 things that I'm going to write down, Mr. Capitalism man. Your brain will say that. And that's why I say you're going to hit resistance after you get all the surface level stuff out. But then you're going to start coming up with the really good stuff. So I'll just do an example with you right now. What progress, what momentum has happened in the last 90 days? And here's a little preview. You will forget how much got done in the last 90 days. So for example, I know that it was just 90 days ago that we published this follow-up sequence called The Road to 1 Million at capitalism.com, and it already has 2,000 subscribers to it. Last 90 days, we launched a program at Capitalism called The Grind. Really, really good. We're really proud of it, and it didn't exist 90 days ago. We also launched a new continuity offer in the last 90 days. I started getting up a lot earlier in the last 90 days, and as part of that, I really fixed my sleep. You know, I'm not gonna say what it was, but I kicked a habit that I wanted to kick. Okay, so I just listed five, but now I wanna quit. <laughs> so I hit my own resistance point, which means that the stuff that comes up next is gonna be the really good stuff. I was able to take two full weeks off. A year ago, that would have been absolutely insane to think that Ryan could take two full weeks off and it not harm the company. That is actually a huge amount of progress. I built this podcast studio with my own hands. Huh. That was actually really enjoyable. I think my mental health is in a much better place than it was. It required me to slow down in business a little bit, but kind of slowing down so that I can go faster later. Okay, so I'm at eight and I'm really digging for two more right now. Oh, you know what I just realized? See, this is why you go through the resistance. I totally forgot Capcom was in the last 90 days. We had the best Capcom we've ever had in my entire life, in my career. Well, I totally ignored that one. That was like the biggest event of the year for us. And in combination with that, there is a project that we're launching with one of the people who spoke at Capcom. And that is getting really, really close. So that's 10th, wow. See, my brain wasn't thinking about the fact that I had 
all of these wins or that I had a win as big as Capcom in the last 90 days, my brain was looking for the next problem. Okay, so if I look at these 10 things that I wrote down, has there been progress? Has there been momentum in the last 90 days? Well, I can read that I fixed my sleep, I kicked a habit, I took two full weeks off, I built a podcast studio, I've been taking care of my mental health, I launched a new program, launched a new follow-up sequence, I got 2,000 subs, I had the best event of my life and we're launching a new project with somebody who was on stage there. Uh, I mean, that was all the last 90 days. Okay, you can see where this exercise is going. Now we go to the left column and this section you're gonna do on your own. But this is where we take the exact same thing, this exact same process, the 10 things that come to mind about pieces of progress that happened in the last year. What you'll be left with at the end of this part of the exercise is you'll be able to see a little bit of the broader story of the progress that has happened in the last 12 months and the last 90 days. Now, this doesn't mean that it wasn't hard or that you didn't go through some difficult times or there weren't setbacks, but you can look at this and say, okay, there's been some progress, some good stuff has happened. Maybe I'm still not where I wanna be, Maybe things haven't gone exactly how I wanted them to. Maybe I'm not making the money that I wanted to be making, but there has been some progress. And this is what I came up with in the last five minutes. Okay, based on that, what would be really great to happen in the next 90 days? Knowing that there has been progress, that there has been macro wins and some short-term momentum in the last 90 days, what are some things that I could stack over the next 90 days? And we're going to write down five to 10 things that we would love to create in the next 90 days. That might be starting a new habit, or it might be getting in shape, or it might be accomplishing a certain monetary goal, or it might be completing a project. But writing down five to 10 things that you would love to see happen in the next 90 days gets you to take some of that momentum that has been borrowed from the past and now forecast it into the future so that you feel a little bit more fueled to do the actions that are going to lead you to that outcome. Okay, so I wrote down five things that I would love to create in the next 90 days and I'm going to have you do one more thing after I read you my list. So I wrote down I could add 20 new members to my NFT community. I could get our front end offer to 20 sales per day, cross 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm at about 130 right now. Work out four times a week, something that I have slacked on a little bit and do one great thing, create one great memory with each of my kids. Okay, so these are all things that could happen in the next 90 days. There's a non-zero chance that not all of them will happen in the next 90 days. So what we often do is we make this long list of goals and we might get one of them or two of them, but we don't get all 10 or all five. And then we beat ourselves up for the lack of momentum that we're not getting because we're focused on what we didn't accomplish. So instead of that, this is your dream list now that you're feeling a little bit of momentum. If you could only do two of these things, what would you love to see on your next wins list from the last 90 days. Which of these would be the most meaningful for you to have accomplished 90 days from now? So for me, it might be crossing 150,000 on YouTube and uh, getting our front end offer to 20 sales per day. So I circled those two things here on my list and now I might say, okay, what do I need to prioritize this week what do I need to do this month? What action steps do I need to put on the calendar in order for me to have more momentum towards these things? Oftentimes when we're not feeling momentum and we're just feeling stuck, we come up with this story about the fact that there's no momentum, we don't know what to do, we don't know how we're gonna get to where we wanna go. But after you do this exercise, if you're like most people, you'll be feeling more energy than when you started the exercise. And so you'll feel just a little bit clearer about what steps you need to take. And you'll have a little bit more focus about which things you need to prioritize in the next week. And so we do this two-step success stacking practice where we borrow from the past, and then we prioritize what's important in the future and schedule what action items we can take in order to create more momentum. 
reason I made this video for you is because I work with clients and customers who feel like they're stuck, but from the outside, we can see their progress. Whether it's a company that I've invested in and I've put capital into, I can see that founder making progress, but they're in their own way because they're playing this game about where they should be and what they should have done. Or it's a company that I'm advising or that we are helping inside of one of our programs. They're beating their head against the wall, wondering why they're not getting anywhere, but they're getting somewhere. Sometimes just reframing your focus and reframing where you're putting your attention. Like I'm getting nowhere and I'm progressing nowhere versus, oh, all this stuff has happened and more is gonna happen in the future can change your entire emotional state. If you change your emotional state, you'll change the actions that you take. And if you change the actions that you take, you change the outcomes that you get. I hope you find this exercise valuable. I would encourage you to take five minutes and do it one time and see if you feel more energized or less energized after you do this. If you're like every other person that I've done this with, you'll say you'll leave more energized, clearer, and more motivated coming out of this exercise, even if you were feeling really hopeless and stuck leading up to it. I'm Ryan Daniel Brand with capitalism.com. I hope you found this valuable and let me know what you thought in the comments. See you next time.